Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync MailChimp with Google Sheets. You can create a two-way sync so that MailChimp automatically backs up to a Google Sheet and anybody you add to that Google Sheet automatically goes on to your MailChimp audience. These syncs are super easy to set up. There's no more imports or exports. Contacts are synced automatically. It creates a live backup of your MailChimp audience. That way all those emails you've spent so much time gathering, all those leads are always safe and easy to access. So to set this up, the first thing we're gonna do is go to apination.com. And here at apination.com, the first thing we're gonna do is click Discover Connections. You're gonna see a ton of CRM, productivity apps, and marketing tools here. I'm gonna scroll on down to MailChimp and to see the automations and syncs available there. Click on MailChimp. And these are all the syncs available to sync with MailChimp. And today we're setting up the Google Sheets MailChimp sync. So I'm gonna come on down here to Google Sheets and click on that. And you can see there's two syncs available. One that syncs an audience and contacts from Google Sheets into MailChimp. And one that syncs MailChimp subscribers into a Google Sheet. I'm gonna set this one up first and then I'll show you how to set up the Google Sheets into MailChimp. So I'm gonna hit activate on this sync. And the first thing it asks me to do is connect my Google Sheets account. So I'll click the button and I'm gonna choose the Google account I wanna sync this to. So this is the Google account where the sheet is gonna live in Google Drive. Great, now I just have to connect the MailChimp account. So you can see it's asking for a name for this connection and the API key. I'm just gonna put my company's name and for the API key, we're gonna go over to MailChimp. So here in MailChimp to find that API key, I'm gonna come on down here to the account bubble, click on that click on account, go over here to extras and API keys. Then you can scroll down here. I'm gonna create a key for my new API Nation connection. So there it is, I can label it API Nation. And then I'm just gonna highlight it, hit control C, and then we'll go back to API Nation and paste it in. Now that we have that MailChimp API key, I'm just gonna paste it in here and hit connect. All right, just a few configuration options left here. For example, I gotta specify which audience I want synced to my Google Sheet. I can choose either of them. There's an option here to sync all the contacts on this first run. So that means if I check this box, everybody who's in that audience is gonna get sent to that Google Sheet. If the box is unchecked, only contacts that are added from today going forward as I add them, will get added to this Google Sheet. I want everybody added to this Google Sheet, get a complete backup. Here I can name the sheet. Maybe I wanna call this MailChimp Audience 2 because that's the name of the MailChimp Audience. And then I can come on down here to Mapping and this is just gonna send over all that MailChimp information, even the custom fields, into columns on Google Sheets. Let's go up to the top and hit Activate Sync. And that's it, the sync is now running. It's gonna create that Google Sheet. It's gonna fire every 10 minutes, sending over new contacts, any new contacts, any modified contacts from MailChimp into that newly created Google Sheet that lives in your Google Drive. Let's go ahead and set up its partner sync that goes from Google Sheets into MailChimp. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on this MailChimp bubble here to go back to the MailChimp syncs. There we go, come back down here to Google Sheets. And again, this time we're syncing one that goes from Google Sheets into MailChimp. You can see here's that active sync, we just set that up a minute ago. I'm gonna hit activate. And because we've already connected both those apps, it's just gonna pass me on to the final step. So here it's asking for a spreadsheet URL. So this is the URL of the Google Sheet, full of contacts I want synced into MailChimp. So here's that MailChimp audience to Google Sheet we've just created. So if I'm creating a true two-way sync, I can just use this spreadsheet URL and add that in here. That way MailChimp's syncing to this Google Sheet and then this Google Sheet is also syncing back to MailChimp. It creates a two-way sync, makes the contacts a lot easier to manage. If you're gonna sync a separate sheet, maybe an existing sheet full of contacts you already have, you'll just find that sheet Make sure it has some headers at the top for the basic information that's listed. 
grab the URL like normal, and then you're going to paste it back in API Nation. And once you paste the sheet, you can see the mapping lights up and you can see all the columns available in that Google Sheet available to sync into MailChimp. Last thing to check is which audience in MailChimp we're syncing these to. So you can specify that here. And you can see the mapping here because we're setting up that two-way sync and the Google Sheet that we're using was created by the sync initially. All these columns are gonna match up. If you're syncing a Google Sheet that you've created separately or you've exported out of a different app, these columns might have different names, so you have to go through and match them up with their partner in MailChimp. Should be pretty easy, no problem. If you need to match anything up, again, you just click the field on the left and it's partner on the right. There we go. Now let's go to the top and activate this sync. And there we go, if I click on my syncs, you can see I now have two syncs running, one going from Google Sheets into MailChimp and the other going from MailChimp back into Google Sheets. So that's it, that's how you create the sync from MailChimp to Google Sheets. It creates a live backup of all the contacts you've worked so hard to add to your MailChimp audiences in a nice, neatly organized Google Sheet. And also it can be an easy way to have contacts added to your MailChimp audience by syncing a spreadsheet to your MailChimp audience. You can just have an assistant add those contacts to the spreadsheet, knowing as soon as you add them to the spreadsheet, they're gonna be also added to your email newsletter audience. If you have any questions, ideas, or need any guidance setting this up, just shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.